least one goal I hit. This is my season. Is that not one of our goals in life? Is that not something that we can be like? I don't know where to begin. Could be the curves on your body, but then could be your hair, maybe your skin. Yeah, uh -huh. baby girl, I'm trying to get with you. Come, let me see what we get into. Yeah. See what we get. It don't even gotta be physical. As long as that pretty face visible. Yeah. Lazy Sunday mornings, hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me. I don't mind when it's just us two. The corner coffee shop we like to go. Late night walks with you to take me home. With you, I never feel alone. These little songs make me glad to call you mine, and you have got my. Hi guys, welcome to our 2023 reset routine. As I'm speaking these words, I have chills. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ree. This is my coffee. Nice to meet you. On our channel, we talk about a lot of things, mainly travel, life, and beauty. But just get it together but if you're interested in those things make sure hit that subscribe yes so if you are an og to the channel you know we do a reset routines every month every single month had a reset routine this year and then we also have a playlist where you can go back and just watch boy the transformation over this year 2022 has been a whirlwind talk about a roller coaster it's giving six flags but this is our annual reset we are now saying goodbye to 2022 saying girl thank you for all that you've done the slaps the wins the awards the trophies the l's we're thanking you for that and then we're also going to shift into this new year 2023 is what less than it's less than a month away days we're talking days until we tap into an entire new year a year of opportunities of growth of different movements and all kind of stuff like that so this is our video for that we are doing so much today we're gonna recap on our goals for 2022 we're gonna talk about them a little bit i'll work on my end of year reflection that i use from the passion planner i also i'm hoping to set up a little bit of my 2023 planner with you guys today we're also doing vision boarding ah i know i love a good vision board if you don't know i wake up to my vision board every single morning and that i'm in my bed that i'm not on a flight <laughs> and i really enjoy just having that perspective as to how to go throughout my day so we are going to recap on our vision board for 2022 and create our vision board for 2023 so that list was hectic we have a lot to cover so we're gonna jump right into it if you enjoy planning anything related to resetting just getting your life together if you're a person who just enjoys getting their life together definitely hit that thumbs up that lets me know to keep on doing these videos for you guys i don't know why my hair was on my shoulder for that long but yeah <laughs> perhaps you ready to reset hi baby girl come on yeah so here we go oh thank you so we have a little special guest today, you know, Papa just wanted to spread her love in her chest. Yes, thank you, baby girl. <laughs> My dog. <laughs> Do you want to tell the people something? She busy. So, okay, love you, love you. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I get it, I get it. Get away from me. <laughs> So the first thing I do for every new year is to set goals in terms of, you know, what I want my year to look like. There's a particular scripture verse. I think it's a back of two and two. It's like write the vision and make it plain. So even though I kind of have a vision board and I have a visual like picture um, representation or pictorial. Come on, Brina. Pictorial. Because I don't know if I'm using that word right. But I'm run with it. Even though I have a visual representation of what I want my year to look like, I also like to write it down. So... Oh boy, this is back when I first started, but I have my 2022 goals, so we will hop through them real quick. 
Okay, so when it comes to 2022, we set some, you know, heavy hitters. I like to separate my goals between personal goals that I have and then brand goals that I have. That's just what worked for me um, when I was starting the year. But my first personal goal was to move into my home. And I love that you guys know kind of like my journey and my struggles and my triumphs when it comes to this. If you are new, definitely watch. It's a property update series that we have going on. But long story short i'm not in my new home but 2023 we're moving into that house i don't have time for the games 2023 we're moving into this house so didn't do it this year and that's okay this is something that i've had on my you know radar in terms of what i would like to do from since i bought the property back in 2020 so i'm just grateful to be able to continue it and grateful to be able to move forward and say it didn't happen this year but it'll happen next year so i'll take that as a win my next goal was to lose 25 pounds i lose that but <laughs> I lost 10. I feel like that's a good start, personally, to lose 10 pounds and to actually knock that out of my range as to where my weight was fluctuating. This year, I would say, though, this is the most committed I've been to fitness and to actually moving my body every day. I have not previously been into working out and actually moving my body as much as I did this year. So I started this year in the gym and I'm still in the gym, which is crazy. So I've been on now for over a year of just working out and being in the gym. So I'm just super proud of myself for being consistent. I know the areas that I need to work on, cough, cough my diet, because boy, I love a good time and definitely try to like, you know, cut back on the alcohol. But these are things that I wanna work on in 2023. But I can say like now I understand the importance of fitness. My body has changed like 100%. If I look at old photos of myself from like 2021 and 2020, I see a visual difference in how my body is between now and later. And my gym fam tells me like my face is slimming down. This is something that I want to continue to work on. But in terms of the number that I set, the 25 pounds, that didn't happen this year which is fine. So our next personal goal was to travel to a new country, which I am so excited because I did that. I went to Colombia for my 27th birthday and it was magical and epic and just, I felt like I was in Encanto. <laughs> I felt like I was in the movie and I was I was the I was in the family Marigal and I was here like I was just waking up my door for my power I was so excited love Colombia it was everything that I wanted it to be and more and once again I love traveling to a new country because it just helps with your perspective on life and just cultures and just understanding that you know we're all connected whether we like to think we are or not we are all connected in some way and it's amazing how you know you can travel across the world and meet such wonderful and nice people i love traveling this is just a part of me so i can cross that goal off Woo! at least one goal i hit and then our last goal in terms of personal what i wanted to do from a personal standpoint was to read 12 books so i did not read 12 books but i read seven so I'm very proud of myself. This is the most books I've read in a year in a long time, probably since I graduated from school. So I will definitely maybe do a book recap or something if you're interested on it and I can dive a little deeper into the books that I'm reading and my thoughts and my readings and stuff like that. I think that'd be a fun video. Let me know. Drop a comment down below if you'd want to see that. But I didn't read 12, but I read 7. So more than half. Didn't make it, but close enough. And I'm okay with that. Now, when it comes to the brand side, so I had a goal to reach 5,000 subscribers slash followers on one platform. And I feel like I was close because like at the time you're watching this with YouTube, we have over 3,000, ah, which is wild to have over 3,000 subscribers in the family, almost 3.5. Like this goal was definitely something that I was working hard towards and I'm not bummed out that I didn't make five because I made it so close. I why are all my goals like just like almost there like if 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 a year was really 14 months i would have been on killed all these goals but that's okay <laughs> y'all have a special place in my heart y'all don't understand and i'm just so grateful for the platform we've created for the community we've created and to be able to have your support and your love on this journey it means the absolute world and i'm not gonna cry but i appreciate you 
before I do. My next brand goal is to buy my first camera, which I'm using to film. So shout out to us, Sony ZV-1. I bought it back in February when I was in Austin, and I love my camera, and I love it more and more each day. Thankfully, there have been no issues, no tech support, no hiccups. Everything is smooth sailing, and I'm just so grateful. I'm happy that I was able to buy my first camera in 2022 and really expand and just, you know, grow as a content creator. I love that for us. The next brand goal we had was to land five new brand campaigns and I definitely did so just to list a few Yiddy I've been working with Merit I worked with Aloisa I had some PR from Good Molecules which has been blowing my mind I also work with Jumpstart Filings to form my LLC which is crazy so I have been working with so many new and exciting brands that I actually love and support that it's been wild to me I'm fully fully grateful for all of the brands that I work with in 2022 and I'm looking forward to working with them again in 2023 or maybe adding some new brands to my roster I'm just excited I'm just a happy gal I can't explain it any other way the next brand goal we had was to buy a new macbook because you know my current macbook air it constantly crashes when i'm editing and it's just a little annoying so i feel like i would be able to create a bit better if i had a macbook pro and something with enough storage that it doesn't have to crash all the time so i wasn't able to do that this year but to be honest god has been keeping my macbook so every time like there's an issue i'd be laying hands i'd be going straight to the king and god has been keeping my macbook safe and together and as smooth as can be until i'm able to get a new one so that is definitely one of my hard financial goals for next year i'm not playing with that new macbook and then my last goal was to earn five thousand in my side hustle so i consider my, my youtube my brand life of VHC to be my side hustle because i still have a nine to five so my goal was to earn five thousand i don't think i earned that mm -mm. <laughs> but that's okay i earned honestly double than what i earned last year so i'm so grateful for the growth always grateful for the growth that's where we are in terms of our brand goals and then let me grab my vision board real quick <laughs> so here she is in all of her glory my um vision board i love this like the frame just setting it up and actually being able to hang it and look at it it's been giving me so much joy i can't explain it oh she's a little dusty but that's okay so over here as you can see i like to set my personal and then my brand so just to show y'all real quick over here that was me in the dr so i wanted to use that picture to symbolize traveling to a new country we have a fit kelly Rowland. we have home pictures we have a girl blacker reading her book so those kind of symbolize what i wanted to do from a personal standpoint and then we have um my brand goal for 5,000 subscribers a girl with a dope brown aesthetic who i feel like i love this picture because this picture has really described my style change this year i'm a chocolate head so i have so much more tans and nudes and neutrals and i'm so much happier when i go out because i don't have that brain fog in terms of like nothing in my closet matches and i don't have enough basics and essentials i did what i had to do this year to succeed and i love it here i have llc which i did which is crazy we found that llc shout out to jumpstart filing so making it so stupid easy to do llc and then down here we have a camera and then we have the macbook but i didn't get that so yeah so i love this vision board she's been keeping me she's been keeping me humble she's been keeping me hungry she's been keeping me just you know motivated and i'm just so grateful for this vision board and as you guys can see my word of 2022 was release and my bible verse of the year was philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7 so if you want to learn a little bit more about why i picked release i will link the 2022 vision board video down below just so you guys could you know have a different perspective and learn my thought process behind picking that word i won't dive too deep but i just want to share this bible verse because i just feel like somebody might need it so philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 and it reads be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to god and the peace of god which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through christ jesus that has been keeping me stable when i tell you the whole year i'm just so grateful for just the peace of god that passes all understanding 
that helps me through all of my woes and my trials and my tribulations that is very comforting so that's basically our 2022 goals recap i'm going to do my end of year reflection y'all already know this is a passion planner stand account i am an ambassador the coupon code is always active hallelujah <laughs> i'm annoying <laughs> but yeah i use the end of year reflection pdf that they have i will try to link it down below in the description box for you guys but it's completely free and it's a really good tool for you to just sit down spend some time with you and just reflect on how the year went from your standpoint there's no shame in the game we have to do whatever we can to keep ourselves stable so i'm gonna do that real quick yeah let's do that <laughs> journaling around how this year had highs and lows and i feel like boy those lows were low but i somehow climbed out of it and i somehow managed um to get through it so i rated it 8.5 because i felt like there was beauty in the highs and the lows of the year this section of the end of year reflection i like so i'll share it with you guys it was like what advice would you give um yourself at the beginning of the year which is 2022 I said, trust the process, do more of what brings you joy, stop worrying so much, it will all work out, and then spend more time with your loved ones, because life is really so short. In the clouds, on the one, two, three. All that I need is your body next to me on rainy. <sighs> Y'all are back, <laughs> and I brought wine. Um... This is the Trapiche Vineyards from Argentina 2022. I got caught up on the phone and I'm back. But we're going to get back into this reset, okay? Because we're doing this. I actually finished writing down my goals, my verse, all of that for the year. So I'm going to share that with you guys right now. 2023. Let's get into it. I'm so excited. So I think I got a lot off of my chest in 2022 which allowed me to be in this phase of 2023 and i've been watching a lot of things and reminiscing on a lot of things and that's why i knew my word of the year before i even started this video and before i even entered december god already revealed to me my word of the year because this is my season so my word of the year is move ah! move out the way i'm in the of me all her space when the queen come through, pot like the press say, move out the way. That's what it is. That's what it is. I apologize for my just rendition. Something was wrong with me. I. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, move. I feel as though that defines where I'm at right now in my life. I'm moving. I'm moving into my new home. I'm moving into greater and better horizons. I'm moving forward. And I'm in this season where I feel like it's time to accelerate. And it's time to grow. And it's time to just kick it into a different level so when i say move i mean move like everything in my life will follow what i just told you guys we're moving you get it and then my verse my verse is a favorite a fan favorite romans 8 28 i feel like this is a well-known verse in the christian community and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. I always repeat this in the back of my head, all things, all things, because it's one of my favorite verses in the Bible, because it's a reminder that not some of the things work together, all things, the good, the bad, the delays, the accelerations, all of it is working together for those who love God. And I'm going to raise my hand because I love God. And I feel like it's feeding into my current situation so super excited our goals for this year well, let's take a sip and i broke them up similar to how in our monthly resets i started categorizing my goals i decided to give myself two of each of my categories of goals so nothing too heavy but this is essentially what i want my 2023 to look like and then my plan is we're going to do a separate video on like 
our financial goals and stuff and then we're gonna do a separate video on our how to's around this goal so make sure you subscribe because a lot of videos are coming out I would hate for you to get left behind this is not the time so y'all already know the first goal is we are moving into the home the next goal as well as something that I took for 2022 that I didn't fully accomplish which is losing the 25 pounds I'm okay with the size that I'm at let's get this straight but I would like to be 25 pounds lighter and that's my personal choice I just would like 25 pounds to just just kick the boot I just want to be at a comfortable range and right now the range that I'm at is still a little too high for me so that's just my personal goal again to lose 25 pounds boy this could be a journey because I ain't about to put it there twice so I gotta do it at some point point. and then the two next goals are related to brand so my two brand goals are going to be 10,000 YouTube subscribers that is not an easy feat at the time of watching this like i said we're about like 3.2 3.3 so we have ways to go but i fully believe we can do it so fingers crossed and i'm rooting for all of us make sure you hit the subscribe or send it to your grammy so she can subscribe on her gmail account this is the time tell nana we don't have time for the games the next brand goal i have is to finally get my new macbook i have already plotted it on the apple website and i just need to like get the money <laughs> and go away and get it with Final Cut Pro so that I can elevate my videos and my editing and just be at the content creation queen level that I was always born to be at. So last but not least, I like to call these mind goals or mental health goals, whatever you like to call it. A huge part of my mental health is doing the things that I've always wanted to do but I never feel like I got a chance to do them. So that's where one of these goals is coming from. So one of my mind goals is to have basic fluency in Portuguese. So as you guys know, I speak a little bit of Spanish and I love Spanish speaking countries as well because it's just a really good opportunity for me to practice my Spanish. I actually double majored in Spanish in college, so it all started from there. But I want to develop the same sort of fluency in Portuguese because I went to Brazil for a month back in 2016 and it was one of the best trips of my entire life. So I fell in love with Portuguese back in 2016 and I was learning so much of it when I was down there for a month. Like I was speaking... 100% in Portuguese as much as I can and when I couldn't I defaulted to Spanish y'all I was even going to a Portuguese school like learning how to speak Portuguese and how to count Portuguese and stuff and I really enjoyed it to be honest I enjoyed the mental challenge I feel like the older you get even though you're done with school you can still find other ways to challenge yourself and for me I like languages and I like learning new languages so that is one of my goals I'm super excited for that one super nervous but I think it'll be really good and I'm excited to get back into languages so for me there is nothing more satisfying than being able to travel to a country and speak the native language I love that <laughs> so this is the first step but I'm really excited to have a third language in my belt like before I'm 30 so my next mental health goal is that and this is so weird to say but I want to become a cleaner person so what happens is like I'm doing a lot of things picture it I'm doing everything and a lot of times I would have to sacrifice the cleanliness of my space because I'm moving too fast and because I'm not like home enough to take care of it but I want to become a more cleanly person and a more organized person so that means actually knowing everything that I have like all the items that are in my possession and having a good grasp on my closet and what I need versus what I have enough of and then also just keeping my space tidy keeping my car tidy keeping my environment tidy I want to do a better job at that so that's something that I put as my 2023 goals because I really want to work on it this year in my life so <sighs> how y'all feel about that let me know what y'all think oh I'm nervous if you want drop a goal that you have for 2023 so we can be in this space together those are my 2023 goals and we are going to hop into the vision board aspect of it so i'm going to get my macbook and i'm going to share my screen and we're going to design our vision board so a few things i want to tell you before i show you guys the vision board i do have a vision board bundle so a vision board bundle that i've created has affirmations words of the year all of my previous vision board templates so if you liked my 2022 template which was released it has that in terms of like all the pictures and everything it is canva template so all you have to do is copy like so all you have to do is open the link and add it to your canva and it's yours so i wanted to create a vision board bundle it's super affordable it is legitimately only 
$2.99 and you get kind of like everything to kind of jumpstart your vision board so if you're interested it's on my website but I will leave the link down below I'm a digital vision board kind of girl I like it to be aesthetic and cute I did the magazine stuff in the past but this is just how I prefer to have my vision board and as you guys like to see I like to like hang it up in the frame and stuff so I want to make sure it's aesthetic and it has a vibe that I enjoy let's build our 2023 vision board I'm so excited I love this stuff this is my job if you don't know vision boarding planning all this stuff this gets my heart racing so let's do it and i have wine so i'm happy yay hey, just need your company don't need too much just your simple love and it's everything the simple joy of hearing your voice i have been working on this diligently one thing about me I don't play my vision board. It has to be perfect. It has to speak to me in every single aspect. So I am officially done and I'm officially in love with it. So with no further ado, I will share with you guys my 2023 vision board. In three, two, one, boom. Chills. I know, right? It's good. It's good. Okay, so let me walk you guys through it. As you guys know, we already talked about the move and we already talked about the Bible verse. So I like to center that. So that's the first word that catches my eye every time I look at my vision board. And then I just, just like to add like a little um, reminder or affirmation up top. This is just my style. And like I showed you guys, you can have access to it with the bundle. So I put all things work together because that's the first part of that verse. So it really speaks to me. We have some new pictures of course of my home we can't use the old, old so i have some new pictures i have a black girl drinking her coffee in the morning with her books look like she's just creating a vibe and an aesthetic so it really spoke to me just because you don't see a lot of black women in these pictures and spaces on pinterest so when i found it i was like oh bet so i wanted that there just to remind myself not only from a content creating standpoint to be that version of myself but also just to you know cultivate that in my own life if you get me so we have a picture of a living room that i love a picture of a kitchen that i am excited for and then also on kind of like the personal side we have our grocery bag full of greenery and the bag that says health is wealth we love a good tote bag and some smoothies so for me this is symbolizing me adopting a more healthier lifestyle um and then i love this little quote right here where it says just girl do it for you that just reminds me that my fitness goal is personal and it's my own journey and it's not going to look like anybody else so let's put yourself first it's okay to be selfish all that good stuff and then i put money bags because i don't know about y'all but i'm trying to get my money up your money can stay the same my personal journey is that i need my money bags to go up i just put some dollar bills there just to cultivate that energy in my mind so i really like this side switching to the other side we have our macbook staying there big and bold because that is a huge goal of mine this year not this year sorry next year and then also we have our 10k subscribers my vision board black girl has always changed in the past it's been Issa Rae it's been Maddie James last year it was Kelly Rowland my black girl on my vision board always changes the other year was me it's just that this vision board what spoke to me was makeup Shayla so I wanted to pick a girl who is in shape like makeup Shayla but also has curves that are giving for days because that really symbolizes to me better what my body is and I love it because she works out I've followed her for years she's been on keto and she actually is very diligent in the gym so she has kind of like that vibe I would like and then down here I have I'm creating the life of my dreams so for me that affirmation really spoke to me last two pictures I have in the corner are just which I got from the home edit which is just symbolizing being more organized and clean and aesthetic and just putting things away in their corner and the last picture is a picture of a Bible because I want to be more spiritually connected to my faith and just to explore more about the Bible and its worth and just to dig a little bit deeper into Jesus so that is my vision board we have done so much today we really just killed it and i'm super excited to wake up every day to look at this i feel like it really speaks to my current circumstance but also to my future and where i'm trying to be and i hope you guys like it let me know i'm nervous to hear what you guys think
So that's it when it comes to this video. I really want to thank you guys for watching this video and rocking with me today and planning out our 2023. Here's to everything falling in line and to getting new opportunities, new accesses, new streams of income, all of that good stuff. This is just such an exciting season to be able to plan out an entire new year and cultivate it to what you want. So wishing us nothing but the best. And be sure to look out for other videos on planning, budgeting, goals, all that good stuff. So if you enjoy those type of content, from Black Girl from the Islands, of course, make sure you hit that subscribe. And thank you so much again. As always, I appreciate you. I follow you. Yeah, you bad. I can see you on the next one. Bye.